Welcome to the lecture series on real analysis. In the previous lectures, we have defined compact sets and we have seen some results on compact sets. In this lecture also, we are going to continue with the result on compact set. Let us get into the lecture. Here, we are asked to prove close the subsets of the compact sets are compact, which means in a uh, we will have to take a compact set in any metric space and we have to take some closed subset of this compact set. Remember here we are not going to talk about some relativeness because here it is given to be a compact set that's it it is not we are not making this k to be some metric space with a metric induced on x that is not going to be the case here here it is just a compact set in this metric space x and f is some closed subset of this compact set k. Here we need to prove f is compact. Right? So f is closed implies what? f complement is open. Okay, let us have this to be that as f now. Okay. Now let us collect v alpha be the open sets. Uh, sorry, V alpha be an open cover of F because in order to prove something is compact, some set is compact, we have to take an open cover and we have to say there are some finite subcover, right? So it is going to be the case. Now you can adjoin this adjoint with. this V alpha. Right? In this collection, I am just adding this to this. Okay? This may contain any number of sets. Along with this, I am just adding this also because this is also an open set and in this collection, all the sets are open. So, I am just making all those stuff. Okay? I don't know about this collection. After, uh, this is adjoined with V alpha to get I don't know the union, okay? So the union I am denoting by omega, okay? This that is omega is the open cover of K because uh, this F complement is not going to contain any point in F, right? So, this may contain few points in K. That is why after adding this F complement to this set, I am going to get some open cover and that open cover I am denoting by omega. Right? So, I am not going to write this notation. As of now, for simplicity purpose, I am writing that open cover as omega. So, this is an open cover of K since K is compact there exists a finite subcover, right? So, even for the finite subcover, I am not going to with the, write with the help of union and all. I am just going to denote that as with phi, okay? Finite subcover phi such that this k is contained in this phi, right? This is a finite subcover of k. So, with this finite subcover, I am going to identify some finite subcover for F. How are we going to do it? As of now, let us take a pass for this theorem and let us see something in general. Okay. Uh, I have this in R as an open set, right? So, in particular, let me choose uh, this to be a 0, 1. Okay, this is open set, right? I am removing some points from it. So from this I am removing 0 0.5, 0 0.25 and 0 0.75. I am removing these points from this. What am I going to get? I will get 0, 0 0.25, union 0 0.25, comma 0 0.5, union 0 0.5, comma 0 0.75, union 0 0.75, comma 1. Now you see here I am getting something like this. This is open that we know. 
twist this open after removing these points are we getting a open set here you can see that it is the union of open set therefore it is also open right so in let us see in two dimension thing okay i am removing few points from this set i i just remove those points i have marked on this set i remove those points now i have to see see whether this remains open or not in order to be open what should we say there exists at least one neighborhood which is completely contained in it so uh, the dotted points are not members of my point even if i take a point very close to this point i am able to i can find the distance between these two points and take the half of it or at least you fix the distance to be the radius so that this point the black dot one is removed in the neighborhood you get some smallest neighborhood which is contained in the given set that is why in a similar way you can prove all the points are interior points even after removing few points from that set you can retain the openness of this set that is the idea here even uh, in an open set if you remove few points that still remains open right that is the idea you have to remember now because through that idea only we are going to conclude this theorem okay let us get back to the theorem right so here what are we saying this V is the finite subcover for this omega. This omega consists of elements in F complement as well. If V contains points of F complement, remove them. Okay. Then also. it remains to be open so this is this is a finite subcover which means it consists it is the union of finite number of open sets you are removing few points from it even if you remove few points from it that still remains open and the finiteness still remains finite the count may be increased but still it remains finite okay it remains to be open and that is the finite subcover for collection v alpha because this v alpha is not going to contain any points in f complement because it is going to cover f okay this is going to serve you as the finite subcover for this v alpha hence your f is compact right so let us see a uh, a corollary based on this result okay for which we have to recall few more results from the previous lectures let me state the result if f is closed and k is compact then f intersection k is compact this is the result st states let us prove it okay so we are talking this is some closed set this is some compact set which means what f is closed in some metric space x similarly k is a compact set in that metric space x so if we have some compact subset of a metric space this tells you what you get your k is closed set right so in general if some set is compact that implies the set is closed right so compact sets are closed remember all the closed sets need not be compact here we are saying one the compact sets are closed that is what we are saying so we have k to be a closed set and f is also a closed set what is f intersection k it is the finite intersection of two closed sets therefore it is closed 
right? You have F intersection K. This is a subset of F as well as this is a subset of K. We have these two. Which one will be a useful context here? This because we have F intersection K is closed and this K is compact. Now what do we have? You have a closed subset of a compact set. Just now we have seen that closed subset of a compact set are compact. Using that result, we can conclude that F intersection K is compact. Right? If you have any queries, you can post it in the comment section. That will be clarified within 24 hours of time. Thank you for watching.